Hello, uh, welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour here on Verbling, we're going to have a little bit of fun, amusing ourselves by learning some uh, slang words from down under. That is to say, uh, Australian slang from our Aussie friends. Uh, okay. Uh, we're, we're gonna do this. Oh, oh. <laughs> hello. Uh, okay. Hi, Rafa. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good morning. I'm pretty fine, thank you. And um, and you? Uh, I'm doing okay. Um, uh, all things considered, I'm doing all right. Okay. okay. Uh, welcome to the class, and also welcome to Santiago. Hello. Hello, good morning, Oki. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Super. Uh, okay, gentlemen. And uh, whoever else wants to join us out there in Verblin land, plenty of room, so come on in. Um, we're going to take a look at some Aussie slang. And uh, Interesting. I will try to point out when uh, the Aussie slang is the same as the American slang. Sometimes it's exactly the same. Sometimes it's very different. Or maybe uh, I'll even ask you to guess. Uh, we're going to look at things like one word at a time and kind of see. I'm going to go around the class see if you can guess what the meaning of this slang word is. Um, at the end of the class, just for fun, um, probably spend a little time at the end of class reading a couple uh, Aussie jokes. Uh, Australians like to joke about themselves. They like to kid about, uh, they like to tell jokes about themselves, which is kind of cool, I think. Anyway, um, I, I'm American, but I currently live in the Philippines, so I do uh, meet Australians all the time, and they are very uh, kind of funny. Humorous people, really. They have a great sense of humor, what I'm trying to say. Anyway, before we get started, in just a second, let me welcome Andre. Hi, hello. Hi, Andre. Long time no see. How have you been? Yeah, it's been a while, uh, because I know I have a day off today, so I'm able to <laughs> join your class in the morning. Okay, great. Uh, have a great day off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And uh, hello to Zingyu. Hi, Zingyu. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you today? I'm fine. You have uh, the most uh, lessons in Wolverine. Do I? Don't tell anyone. Shh, secret. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I admire you. You oh. are working hard. Yeah, well... You know. <laughs> well, you know. Okay. Well, all right. Let's start out with, uh, we're going to talk about people with words or phrases. And uh, so we're going to see if you, some of these are pretty easy. You can probably guess this. Rafa, a guy, a bloke. W what does that mean? What do you think that means? I, I know the meaning. A bloke is similar. I, it's a, blo a bloke. It could be tough. a kind of brick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you no. Know, I mean, it's very normal to say some bloke came up and asked me for a cigarette, and, and then I, I told him I don't smoke, and he, all right, like that. Basically, just a guy. Any guy uh, is a, any a bloke. Guy. Some guy. Um, mm. Now, Ozzy is a guy or a bloke, and Americans usually say guy. Some guy came up and asked me where the post office was. British people use a bloke uh, a lot. Um, Aussies use them both. Now, how about the next one? Uh, quick uh, shout-out, hello to Ibeck. Hello, Ibeck. Hello. hello. Hi, hi. Well, welcome to the class. Um, Santiago, what if I use the word 
A dude. Yeah. <laughs> a dude. Who am I talking about if I say a dude? Uh, a dude. When, when, when you don't know about something, or you know. Okay, we're talking about people. So. Talking about people. Yeah, we're looking right now. We're gonna we're gonna start off. Okay, okay. Playing. A dude. Well, a dude. When you talk about a, a man, too. Okay. Or not? Yeah, Rafa thinks so. You think so? But uh, be careful if you go to Australia, Santiago, because in Australia, a dude can be a male or a female. Ah, can right. be both. Can be both. Okay. Could be either. Now, if you're in America, yeah, a dude is a guy. A dude is this definitely a, a man. But uh, yeah, but uh, in Australia, oh, uh, look at those dudes, dudes at the bar. They can be girls and guys. Okay. You don't, you don't differentiate. So there you go. You might have to be careful about that. Andre, what if I use the term? A chick or a Sheila? Uh, I guess it's a girl. Some some girl. Um. Yeah, very good. It's a girl or a female, right? Um, okay. Americans say this dude and this chick walked into the bar. All right. Americans use chick, but Sheila is very much an Australian slang. A couple of Sheilas walked in the bar. Okay, uh, there you go. Andre, would you like to go to Australia someday? Have you been to Australia? No, I haven't been, but I li I'd like, of course. <laughs> All right. Maybe you can meet a couple Sheilas while you're there. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. If I'm lucky, yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky, yeah, indeed, indeed. Okay, let me quickly welcome Mustafa. Hello, Mustafa. Welcome hello. to the class. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Uh, hello. We're uh, learning a little Australian slang today, as well as American and British slang, actually, uh, slang class. Okay. Uh, Zingu, here's a tricky one. Yes, I, I can hear you, Mustafa. I can hear you okay. Thank you. Uh, Zingu? Here's a, now we're getting into a little more difficult area here. Zingyu, what uh, what on earth is a bogan? Any idea? What kind of person is a bogan? Bogan is uh, some people who grow up in a bad situation. They often poor, and uh, they often have the lower education. Uh, okay, um, that's pretty much true. A, a person who's not very, maybe not as educated, that's true. I wouldn't say not smart, but not educated. Or stylish, you're right, because maybe they grew up poor. How did you know that, by the way? I'm sorry, I googled that word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. How did he know that? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know this word. This is one. Uh, this is one. I like. I said. I live in the Philippines now, so I meet Australians quite a lot. Once a month or so, I meet another Aussie, talk to them, and this is one they use. I had no idea what they were talking about. I really didn't get it. All right. How about this? This next one here. Um, let me uh let me quickly welcome Ali. Hello, Ali. Welcome. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Ali, we'll come around to you in a bit. We're we're learning some interesting Australian slang today. Ibeck, what is a dad? What kind of person? We're dealing slang for people here. For, uh, I don't know. I a dad. Can you can you guess? Crazy guess. No idea. No idea. No idea. Does anybody have any idea what a dag is? <laughs> what? Okay. Now, uh, it's a person 
who's kind of unusual, a, a character. In American language, I guess it's slang, but it's really, really normal. It doesn't seem like slang to me. If I say somebody's a character, um, this is n actually, you may think this is negative. It is not negative. It's actually positive to be different. Um, in American culture. So if someone is a character, it, it means that they're very unique, a very unique person. Maybe they're really funny, they wear outrageous clothes. Um, I don't know. I, I come from a small town in the in United States that had a lot of characters, or British would say a lot of dags about the place. There is one guy in the middle of winter, it would be zero or 30 below all winter and every day he would wear shorts and a t-shirt and walk around the streets a bit of a dag you might say definitely a character interesting guy uh, another old guy with white white hair very long hair down to his waist and he lived under the bridge <laughs> he refused to live anywhere else very interesting character Anyway, interesting people to talk to. Maybe they're really funny. Maybe a character might be really cranky, angry old man, but he was he's just almost a little bit crazy, maybe. All right. Bit of a dag. Uh, okay. Hello. Uh, quick welcome to Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Hi there. Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Uh, now, uh, this one may, may be familiar to someone. Uh, Mustafa, uh, we're talking about people. What do you think a rager is? Do I have to go to it or just give me a hint? Give you a hint. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Ryan is a bit of a rager. He's uh, always at, he goes out every night. Mm, he goes out every night. He's uh, uh, uncontrolled, out of hand, person, and uh, he's not follow the rules. Mm. He's not. Uh, he drinks a lot. He gets drink a lot. Outgoing, likes to drink a lot. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Probably you're right. A person who loves to go out very late at night. Um, yeah, they're outgoing, but they they like to go have a good time. Now, in American English, it's similar but not the same. A rager in American slang is a party. That's really late, late party, out of control, things getting broken, naked people, <laughs> you know, out of control party. This we, we also have this slang word, but it means a party. And for Brits, it can mean a person who would like to be at that party. All right. Um, a rager in, in American English, uh, actually anybody in the class. Do you know what a person who likes to go to parties and stay out all night is called in American slang? Does, does anybody have any idea? Anyone in the class? No? Okay. He might be referred to as a party animal. So, Mustafa, are, are you a party animal? No. Are you a, ra are you a, are you a rager? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, just no. Okay, all right. Uh, having a good time. All right. Moving on. Oh, I don't remember this one. A winger. <laughs> a winger. British. I mean, sorry, Australian. He's a bit of a winger. A real souk. Ah, uh, Ali. Any idea what <laughs> what a winger is or a or a or a souk. Winger. I don't know if it's winger or winger, actually. Ali, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, but I'm just uh, 
think about it because it's my first time to read it. I think that um, mm, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> no idea. Uh, it, mm, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a clue. In um, uh, American slang, we would say a whiner. Very similar. He's a whiner. Any idea? Yeah, Claire kind of making a complaint or like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, like something. We're talking something about like, it. Yeah, yeah. Usually, make a complaint about uh, his yes. life, and um, there is a um, very hard in his life, and he has a also job. Yeah, maybe it's like that. That's exactly what it is. Somebody who complains all the time is a whiner. Uh, all right, somebody's complaining a lot in American English. We might say, "Stop whining." Why do you whine so much? Instead of saying, "Stop complaining," it would be very common. All right, yeah, that's it. Good job. Okay, uh, this this next one here, uh, Heidi. This next one here is exactly the same for the Aussies as it is for the Americans, for the Yanks, Americans, by the way, slang. All Australians call uh, Americans Yanks, <laughs> by the way. All right, this one, this word is exactly the same uh, in uh, actually British, American, and, and Aussie. Heidi, do you know what a sleaze is? Uh, like bad guy, like perpetrators, no. Well, it's, it's definitely negative, but uh, like what, what word did you say? Perpetrator or some, like gang or bad guy. Ah, oh, like a thug. <laughs> uh, you know, it kind of could be. Um, generally an unpleasant person, but quite specifically, uh, you, Pretty much, this is used for males, uh, a male who makes unwanted sexual advances. So he's putting his arm around the girl and whispering in her ear and maybe grabbing her behind. Okay, uh, he's a real sleaze. Or you may hear uh, he's a sleaze ball. He's a total sleaze ball. Uh, yeah, uh, but we also use um, uh, an adjective too. For example, uh, sleazy bar. Okay, it's dark. It smells like old beer and urine and throw up. It's kind of disgusting. Totally sleazy bar. Definitely negative. Anyway, anyway you slice it, anyway you hear this. It's uh, not good. Definitely very negative. Uh, okay, let me uh, uh, let me welcome Vincenzo. Are you there, Vincenzo? You're kind of. Uh, I see you're in and out. Vincenzo, are you there? All right. I'm not. Hello. Are you connected? He is uh, frozen. He, he is frozen, and there's a weird noise coming. Sorry, Vincenzo, I can't hear you properly here. Uh, okay, Rafa, what kind of a guy do you meet if you meet a slime bag? <laughs> sounds really bad. But, yeah. Okay. What do you think? I think it's a bali, bali, bali guy with a big stomach due to the beer. <laughs> due to the beer. You know what that's called? A big stomach because of drinking beer? A, a bali. No. Yeah. In particular, uh, a beer belly. A beer belly. Belly, no yeah. bali. Beer belly. Yeah. He's got a beer belly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Actually, uh, okay. 
close, but a, a slime, well, it could be that, but uh, not really. A, a person who tries excessively to please mm. um, is probably untrustworthy. Uh, Okay, a, a related word, much, much more formal. Of course, we're looking at uh, sycophant. Um, it's extremely much more formal and academic word, but okay, a, a person who's always, uh, I'm, oh, okay, a more, uh, whoops, did I misspell that? Yes, I, yes, I did. Um, a person who's more, uh, Who's always <laughs> always sucking up to the boss? Who's always trying to be really nice to the boss? All right, flattering the boss. Flattering the boss. Thank you. That's it. Americans would say, "What a brown noser." <laughs> What's his problem? Yeah, you can. I'll leave it up to you to guess why his nose is brown. It has to do with where he's got his face. <laughs> Okay, he's a such a brown noser. All right, Aussies prefer a slime bag, slime ball. Americans use this a slime bag or a slime ball. It generally, mean somebody who's untrustworthy. So we also have the same thing, but not so much about that they're trying excessively to please, but just the fact they're very untrustworthy. He's a slime ball. Don't trust him. Don't listen to him. Don't make a deal with him. He's he's a total slime ball. You can't trust them. Here's another one, exactly the same in American slang as Aussie slang. Uh, uh, San Santiago. What is a wimp? Well, I have no idea. Okay. Somebody who... All right, for example... Um, okay. Uh... We're drinking at a party by the ocean. Let's all take off our clothes and go for a swim. But one guy won't do it because he's such a wimp. Oh, he won't go. He's such a wimp. He, he never does anything. Uh, someone who don't think uh, what it's going to do. Yeah. Yeah, more or less a weak person. Can mean just a weak person. He has no muscles, skinny. All right. Okay. Okay. But, but more importantly, he's unwilling to take a risk. Take a risk. Chicken. A chicken. Yep. A chicken. Uh, right. You're so right. An American might say he's such a chicken, or we might say he's a wuss. What's a wimp, a chicken? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just afraid of things. They they don't they don't get involved. They don't do things. So you're such a wimp. Um. Yeah, that's it. Someone someone who don't, who don't likes to be involved in dangerous things, maybe or not. Avoid dangerous things. That's right. Yeah, okay, okay. Even things which other people don't really consider not really dangerous, but yeah. you know, things like uh, okay, take off all your clothes and go swimming in a pool in the middle of a party in the middle of the night because it's two in the morning and you can't see anything. There's no lights anyway. Who cares? But a wimp would never do it like that. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay, all right. A chicken, ah, uh, well, okay. <laughs> we preempted our next one. Chicken, okay, Aussies and Americans both use this. So if somebody, uh, Santiago, somebody says to you, bruk, 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 bruk. Yeah, it's the same that if you say you are chicken, no? Yeah, he's basically making chicken noises to call you a chicken or to call you a wimp. Um, okay. All right, he's intimating that you're a wimp. Uh, okay, back to the top. What's this? Wrong. Uh, okay, now we're going to look at a different uh, different kinds of slang. We're going to look at adjectives. All right, cool.
Hey, man. Um, and Andre, what is cool? Are you cool? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> kind of a great, nice. Um, how, how to <clears throat> how to translate that? Uh, mm. It's kind of it's kind of great, maybe. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, again, and here's one. It doesn't matter. Canadians, Brits, Americans, Aussies. We all use. All English speakers use this word, this slang. Um, could be something that's very fashionable. Wow, it's a cool jacket. Okay. Um, just, just a general positive. He's a cool dude. He's a cool guy. It can mean, um, for example, in the phrase, um, stay cool or... Keep your cool. Uh, can also, with the correct phrase, in the correct phrasing, means stay calm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. It has the also the connotation in English. Um. Uh, calm. Um. For ex Andre, cooler heads. What does that mean when I use this phrase? Any idea? Uh, I guess, um, as you said, someone who is um, um, who is calm, maybe not very uh, emotional. Yeah. Okay. So here, this here's a phrase for you: "Cooler heads prevailed." All right. Some calm people took care of the situation. All right. Maybe there were angry people or something. Cooler heads prevailed, and the fight was stopped, or the disturbance was stopped, or the riot, or something like that. Calmer people. So it can mean calm, or can it's really a very general term. Oh yeah, he's a really cool guy. Um, just yeah, like uh, you said, Andre, it can be very general. He's a great guy. He's cool. Nice he's he's kind of hip. It has a degree of meaning hip. Um, I don't really want to say fashionable. You, fashion is, gets too intertwined with clothing and style, but um, I don't know. Kind of modern, modern, modern thinker. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sure. But it's always in the in the in the positive uh, way. Oh yeah, very positive. Say, always positive. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's always a very positive thing. You, whether you're talking about somebody being calmer, somebody being calm, cool, calm, cool, and collected. There's another. How are How are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm calm, cool, and collected. Um, another kind of phrase that gets used a lot. Uh, all right. Yeah, definitely positive, for sure. Uh, okay. Is that okay? Okay, it can be just used as a as an affirmative. Is that okay? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Can I can I pick you up ten minutes late? Yeah, it's cool. No problem. Uh, it can also be used as a simple affirmative. Uh, we decided that uh, it can be out of just an affirmative yes or an affirmative that's great, depending on how you how you say it, your intonation. Uh, you know, a simple thing. Can I pick you up late? Yeah, cool. Um, I got you a cheeseburger for lunch. Is that okay? Yeah, cool. Or it can be, we decided to go skydiving this weekend. Um, you want to come with us? Cool. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Okay. Moving on. Uh, okay. Uh, Zingyo. Unreal. Ace. Sweet. <sighs> mm, Zingyo, uh, how about these? This triplet here, unreal, ace. It's ace, it's sweet. Is it negative or positive, do you think? Mm. I, I think uh, positive. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, okay. To describe something highly enjoyable or attractive, 
Uh, sure. Uh, we had an unreal time at the party. Uh, he's got a sweet car. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, Americans use these as well, but uh, Americans use ace a, a different way. Um, Zinio, if I, if I say I aced the test, what does that mean? I passed the test. Not only did I... Yeah, I, got, I aced it. I got a hundred out of a hundred. Perfect score. I aced it. You did extremely well. Uh, <laughs> sweet car. Rafa, you have a Beamer? Yeah, Beamers are a sweet car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, of course, sweet has another meaning, kind of slang meaning. Um, if I... Zing, if I say you should meet my cousin, she's a sweet girl. What do I mean? This girl is very cute and uh, lovely. No, it, in this case, it doesn't exactly mean <laughs> enjoyable uh, or attractive. Yeah, Andre, I do think ace comes from tennis. I think you're correct about that. Yeah, man. Or, or maybe it comes from the highest grade on a test is A. Maybe. I'm not sure. So A, ace, or ace like tennis. And anyway, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sweet girl, uh, whereas if I say it's a sweet car, obviously that's a really attractive car. A sweet girl actually means that she's very kind and considerate. Um, so when we use sweet to talk about people, things, if it's a sweet thing, it's enjoyable or attractive. It's a, if it's a person, a sweet girl is very considerate and kind to others. All right? It actually doesn't say anything about her appearance. Okay? So if you get stuck on a blind date and somebody's telling you she's a sweet girl, Please, uh, it was an ace film. All right, All right. Please recognize that that doesn't necessarily mean attractive. It means she's very kind. Uh, okay. Uh, Heidi, slack. Ooh, uh, slack as an adjective. What could be slack? Slack. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, slack. Um, the person, um, about the person? No. Yeah, well, kind of, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Americans use expressions that are very much related to slack off, for example, at work. Or to call someone as a, a slacker. Like, um, that or lose. Uh, basically, somebody who's lazy. Um, okay, he is slack. Ozzy would say, uh, an American would say he's a slacker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, a lazy person. If uh, as a phrasal verb to slack off at work. You see, slack is an actual verb. A rope, if you pull it tight, it is taut. If you if you if you let the rope go loose, it's slack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you kind of have the idea. Alright, it's not not tight. So if you're slacking off, or you, his work is very slack. Alright, it's very lazy. He's not careful to detail, about detail. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright. So we also use slacker. Um <laughs> Sometimes the I, I I can't remember the X generation. I don't know uh, X generation Y generation. I get confused. Um, but sometimes they're called the slacker generation. He's incredibly slack. Okay, there you go. Uh, all right, Vincenzo, are you there? I mean, are you here? Are you somewhere? Ooh. <laughs> Vincenzo? Hello? Hello, Vincenzo. Here are you calling you? 
Okay. Vincenzo, are you there? Okay. I guess not. All right. Ba back to you, Rafa. What is sus? I don't know. He's so sus. <laughs> uh, Rafa? <clears throat> sus. Sus. I don't know. But if I... If I try, if I try to do a guess, it could be um, a man who is not so female. He's not a macho. He's <laughs> a kind of guy. <laughs> a okay, a sissy. Ah, a sissy or a wuss. Okay, those go. Those, be those belong. Those belong back with a uh, wimp. Uh, yeah, but uh, um, okay. Uh, Okay, and uh, uh, just so you know, uh, Rafa, you try to make a guess. Just, uh, if I had to make a guess, or if I'm going to try to make a guess, you make a guess. Try, uh, anyway. Okay, anybody have a, a guess? Can anyone make a wild guess of what this is? Wild guess. It is short for uh, another word. Another adjective, which is uh, basically suspicious. Um, something not reliable or questionable. Uh, I don't know. I'm, um, uh, I don't like to order clothing online because I think it's a little sus. Uh, okay. Uh, it's kind of like a dis, like dis disrespectful. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. right. Americans, right, use the use dis, which is the short for disrespect. He dissed me means he disrespected me. Mm -hmm. uh, right, same thing. Uh, right, Aussies use sus the same way Americans use dis. Well, why are you dissing me? Why are you disrespecting me? Um, I think he's. Uh, I I think he's a little sus. I wouldn't I wouldn't deal with him. In fact, his whole idea is a bit sus. Same thing, right? Very similar to that. Oops. Oops. Okay. Uh, next one, Santiago. Gross. <laughs> What's gross as an adjective? What is something that's gross? Well, I think it's something uh, rude. Something a bit. Uh, yeah, girl, it's definitely negative. Uh, yeah. Some, something very rude. Could be. Oh, yeah, wow. Anything unpleasant, awful, or bad. Ah, okay. Uh, you often hear things like a gross smell. Oh my god, what is that gross smell? Ugh. Or he is so gross, he picks his nose and eats it. God, he's a gross person. Uh, yeah, just just something bad. Even, 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 even for persons, okay? Even for people. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, okay. So gross. Oh. Disgusting, I think. Closest word. And I don't even know if this is slang. I think this is kind of a real word. It can be... Um, by the way, gross has another meaning. <laughs> uh, anybody? Uh, vulgar, unacceptable, okay. But a totally different meaning. Is anybody? I know the ec economic term gross, I guess it's... Um, right. Um, it's gross value, something like that. Uh, gross profit. Uh, yeah. The whole, the whole, I guess. The whole profit, Entire. Maybe. Right, gross, gross as opposed to net. Net is with uh, things subtract, expenses subtracted. So you netted mm -hmm. or you profited so much. You gross means all your gross is all the money you make, right? Mm -hmm. All the money. That's right. That's right. A, a gross as a noun. A gross. Anybody know what a gross is? Not that. Um, it's, uh, it's actually 12 dozen. 
A dozen dozen equals a gross, which is, of course, 144 is a gross. Strangely enough, it also has that other meaning. Okay. But probably uh, it has, it's used most often except by, of course, economists and financial directors. Other than that, normal people would probably use it this way. This tastes gross. <laughs> oh, gross. And actually, American kid, every American kid uses this word. This is common, super common in America as well as Australia. Oh, gross. Kids love gross things. They love to say, oh, gross. You're so gross. Common. Uh, okay. Ooh, uh, oh, bad word. Okay, this is a little bit naughty. <laughs> All right, just a little bit, Andre. If you're, if you're pissed off, uh, I guess it's um, someone who is uh, maybe not crazy, but um, un uh, who doesn't like something, maybe. Yeah, well, or to be a little more polite, this is considered a little bit bad language. Eh, it depends where you are, but okay, po'd. We can also say same thing. This one's interesting. It, very much exactly the same Australian and American. It means you're angry. Oh my God, the boss was so PO'd this morning. This one is really common, by the way. You're probably not going to be taught this in English classes very often, but because it's a little bit of a curse word. Um, not a serious curse word, but a little bit. Um, Got to be careful of this one, though, because without the... Without the um, preposition off, this word for Brits means drunk. So for this is one that's a, a bit He's different. <laughs> Whoa, this one's a bit different for the Brits, okay? Because they're talking about drinking. Aussies and Americans, this means somebody really, really angry. Um. What are you so PO'd about? That would be common. Uh, I'm really feeling really pissed off about what you did last night. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, be careful where you use that. All right? Don't use it in the other verbling classes. Don't tell them I told you. <laughs> Please. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh... All right. Uh, Zinyo. How about this set? Awesome. Mad. Crazy. Wicked. Choice. Uh, Zinyo, what do you think? What's your question? Is it positive or negative? And those words are negative. Oh, I, I, I'm wrong. <laughs> you are. Hard deal. Yeah, they, they actually mean really good. Now, you have to recognize in English we do this a lot. Um, okay. Uh, awful, of course, is a bad word. Um, but we may say it was an awfully good movie. Oh. For example, sometimes we do this movie. Mm -hmm. I always misspell awfully every time I misspell this word. There is no E. Awfully good movie. Uh, okay, this is common. So some of the awesome, of course, is very, very positive anyway, but some of these are negative. Wicked, crazy, mad. These are usually negative words, but we use them as adjectives in a very positive way. Uh, I had a crazy time at the party. Uh, okay. Hey, those girls are choice. Wow, they're gorgeous. Um, all right. Anyway, all of those, very positive. Uh, and speaking along the same lines, <laughs> okay. Heidi, sick. What if something was sick or fully sick? Uh, cool. Cool. Like a sick car. Yeah. What would that mean if you had a sick car? His sick car is fully it's sick. Cool. Mm, fashionable, uh, good, very good, nice. Yeah, really good. Really good. The best. 
really sick. A really sick car would be uh, have a really nice paint job and extra accessories and leather seats and uh, awesome stereo. Um, might be might be completely tricked out. Uh, for example, a car is tricked out. It has lots of extras. It's all tricked out. Uh, fully sick. Uh, or we often use sick for things. Americans and Aussies both use this. We often use this for things like, um, uh, well, like skateboarding, talking about flips and skateboarding and ski jumps and um, more radical or extreme sports. Oh, that was a sick flip. Oh, his, his – uh, Okay, he's hang gliding. Oh, oh, we had a fully sick time hang gliding. Um, things like that, very often used for more extreme things like sports, or sometimes to describe things like a car, whatever. Um, crap, crap, it's worthless. It's no good. That's all I'm saying about that one. Oh, okay. Now, here's a little list for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, back, uh, Vincenzo, are you there or not there? Yes, this i uh, here. Vincenzo, you are here. You hear me? Yes, you hear I do me? now. I now hear you. Very good. There's some, there's some problem with my connection. But, uh, Let's see. Yeah. All right. Vincenzo, what are you if you are gutted? Maggoted, para, blind, slaughtered, or pissed off. Yes, I like pissed off. Pissed off. <laughs> so, Perhaps what are I you? Mm, got it. I don't understand teacher, but I think they am excluded. 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 No. <laughs> All of these are used for the same purpose. He was blind. He was para. He was maggoted. Right. To describe uh, someone, describe a condition of uh, someone. Yeah. Any yes. idea? Uh, no, not each other. <laughs> no idea? Okay, no. anybody? Let me, let me throw it out to the class. Anybody have a guess what this means? What condition are you in? Andre? Ang angry because we had uh, already had a uh, pissed off. Well, I did, angry, angry. I, I did, tell, I did <laughs> tell you about that. Yeah. Uh, I did say that uh, British use it differently. I, I forgot. I guess Australians use it this way as well. Pissed off his head. Oh, it has to be the whole phrase for the for the Aussies. That's um, okay. In in English, we might say out of his mind. He was gutted out of his mind. Gutted out of his out of his head. Um, mad, mad. Uh, nope, drunk. <laughs> just uh, <I'm> drunk. <laughs> All these things just mean really drunk. Uh, Americans don't use any of these except blind occasionally. Um, Americans can, we have a lot, wasted, twisted, um, wrecked. Uh, obviously a lot of words that have to do with damaged things. <laughs> twisted, wrecked, blitzed. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of ways to say drunk in English. Lots of slang words. Um, and wow. what is the what is the slaughter by by itself? I mean, the noun slaughter. Okay, slaughter is to uh, kill. Ah, okay. Uh, it's kill like in warfare for people, but you, it's a normal word. You slaughter. A uh, slaughterhouse is a place they bring pigs or cows to be butchered for people to eat. So it's mm -hmm. a very normal word for butchers or for farmers. We need to slaughter off some of our pigs. Um, Thank you. Okay. To gut something is to remove its entrails. You gut a fish. You catch a fish, you cut it open, you cut open its stomach, and you remove its entrails. Maggoted. <laughs> I have no idea. A maggot is a uh, the larva of a fly. Yuck! Really disgusting. Really disgusting word here. 
I just have to say. I have no idea what para is unless it has to do with like paralyzed. I, I think that's where it comes from. Yeah, you know, blind is blind. All right. Wasted, twisted, wrecked. All right. Out of his head, out of his mind. Okay. Uh, whacked, hammered. There's just so many. Okay. Uh, okay. How about, this? How about this next one? Rafa, what are you if you're off your rocker? Off your rocker. Off your rocker. Could be, I'm trying to make a guess. If you are out of of your mind, you are all, yeah. always thinking yeah. out of your good point. Crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah that's off it. Crazy, abnormal behavior. He's off his rocker. He's nuts. Again, there's just, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of slang to talk about crazy. Uh, he's nutso. He's bonkers. He's goofy. What is a rocker, teacher? What is a rocker? Really? Uh, okay. <coughs> um, Vincenzo. Do you know the kind of chair, okay, a special kind of chair that you sit on and the bottom is curved so you can rock, literally. You can lean forward and you move forward and you lean back and your chair goes back. So it literally rocks back and forth like a ship. It's called ah. a, rock, a rocking chair. So a ah, sure. rocking chair, uh, yeah. where it's possible to swing in this chair. <laughs> no? That's right. That's right. Oh, okay. It's um, very to work with my grandparents, used for my grandparents. It's the kind of chair I used. Mine my, too. Yes. Yeah. Mine too, but they're very comfortable. They're not very popular anymore, but they're really kind of... Chair. Yes, it's really not kind of, very popular. No. Yeah. Well, it's also called a rocker. Um, all right. Uh, so that, well, anyway, that's where the idiom comes from. Uh... I, know, I guess you fell out of your rocker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, Off yes. Your rocker. Okay. He's gone completely crazy. He's off his rocker. How about hyper? Uh, Santiago, what is hyper? Hyper. Santiago, do you know hyper? Uh, no, I don't know. Hyper. Hyper. Well, uh, hyper is a really a normal prefix in English, it means yes, yes. Uh, like extra, super, like hyperactive, super active. Okay, okay. okay. So there you go. Uh, hyper. Uh, excited and energetic. He's, he's so hyper. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have a chain of, I just have to share this with you guys. Here in the Philippines, in the Philippines, we, we have a chain of supermarkets. They're called Hypermart. <laughs> ah! Okay. I, it's crazy. Hypermart? Is, is yeah. Okay? That's it. it sounds a bit strange. It sounds a bit strange to me, too. <laughs> but this is in the Philippines, and they've just stuck this prefix on with Mart. Of course, Mart is a, you know, we use for market, Hypermart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it does sound strange. It's actually a strange store if you go there, Santiago. You, okay. Very, it's a very funny place, actually. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna. Uh, you've only got, I don't know, three minutes or so. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna share with you guys a little Aussie humor. All right. I have a couple. Let's have a couple jokes before we go. Um, yeah, the, the Hypermart Santiago, every time you go there, about every 20 minutes roughly, they play a little tune. It goes, doom, 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 like a three-step, do, do, do. And all of the employees um, in the store clap their hands, one, two, three. And they all say at exactly the same time, happy to serve. Happy to, happy to serve. Happy Great. to serve. Yeah, great. <laughs> wow, great it sounds funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. It's, you know, when they open it, 
at 10 in the morning, it's very live, lively, very uh, full of energy, very high, high intonation, happy to serve. By the end of the day, you know, by 9 o'clock at night, it's like, happy to serve. <laughs> it's not are, so happy. Are, are there many of them in the United States of this kind of... They're not in the United one? States. This is in, uh, this is in the Philippines. <laughs> Every city's got several. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's try this out. Um, uh, Andre, uh, Aussies like beer jokes, so I thought I'd share one with you. Uh, can you read us a joke, uh, Andre, or get us started anyway? Yeah. Uh, two Aussies are uh, uh, adrift in a lifeboat while rummaging through the boat's provisioning provisions, one of them finds an old lamp. He rubs the lamp and a genie suddenly appears. The genie tells them that he only grants one wish. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Continue? Or, okay. Uh, without sure, giving not? much uh, without giving much uh, thought uh, to the matter, the lamp Finder blurts out, turn the entire ocean into VB. VB, by the way, this is a kind of beer. All right. Okay. Substitute your favorite beer here. Okay. All right. Okay. The, genie, the genie claps his hands and uh, uh, deafening crash, and immediately the entire sea turns into beer. The genie disappears, and only the gentle lapping of beer on the how breaks the stillness as the two men considered the circumstances. Uh, the second Aussie turns to the first and says, nice going mate, now we are going to have to pee in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, okay, very funny. Uh, all right, that's that's it. Yeah, stupid Aussie joke. They like beer. Uh, okay, and uh, all right. Anyway, I guess that's all we have time for. Got to get going. Got another class to get to. But thank you very much, everyone. Um, see you tomorrow, maybe. Uh, have a good evening.